I'm really excited for today's video because a lot of you requested for me to do a walkthrough on how to set up a ClickUp dashboard for your 12 week year. If you're new here, I did the 12 week year from January 1st to March 22nd of 2023. And it was a journey and I kept myself organized by creating a dashboard on ClickUp, which is a project management tool I use to organize my life, my business. And I'm just excited to share everything with you to make this a lot more easier I would do encourage you to watch the 12 week playlist first just to get a little bit acclimated with it before you watch this video but you can also watch this video as a standalone if you really just are curious about creating your dashboard so everything that I mentioned will be down below you are going to need a couple of things the very first thing that you're going to want to download is the ClickUp template that template is going to give you a view of the weekly check-in and where you can set up your or goals things like that where you can write down your goals let's go ahead and get started so this is the dashboard they're going to create today and please you know make it your own if it this is something that you want to incorporate you can always change things up but this is how it's going to look so i'm actually going to start this from scratch so that i could show you guys the step to step you're going to want to grab that 12 week year template down below in the description and then you'll also want to have your goals with you so that you can reference them I'm going to create the goals that I had from my previous 12 week year and I'm just going to redo them as if like I'm doing them again. And then the finished product, like I said, it's going to look like this. You're going to have the header, you're going to have your goals, you're going to have a little reference box and then the weekly check-in. The first thing that you're going to do is go to your dashboard, click the plus sign, create custom dashboard. And we're going to create first our header. What you're going to do is you're going to go here to text box and then add the widgets. You want to make sure that this is in edit mode. You're going to extend this. You can make it as big or as little as you want. This is where you're going to add your header. I did give you guys a template for this so that you guys can have the actual dimensions. And so you could change this up. You could change this for anything, change the font, change the background. They have a few options for you. What we're going to do is we are going to download this so that we have it and add it to our dashboard. Once that is done downloading, you're gonna go back to your dashboard. You're gonna click create attachment. This is all that I did. I click, you click this little plus sign to add a block. We're gonna go browse attachments and we're going to recent. It takes a minute to load and there you go. You can mess with this around you can make your header like it's not going to be perfect but this is and then you have this text box here you can add the months where you're doing the 12 week year so for me this was like january 1st to march 26 2023 just so you can reference them so that's the first thing you're going to do now i told you that you are going to need to do to reference your goals. So ClickUp has this thing on the side that is labeled goals. It should look like a little trophy. And when you click on it, you will be able to create folders. So I already have a folder for my 12 week year goals. So here is how I created them. But for the purpose of demonstrating it to you, we're gonna create a new one. So we're gonna go back to goals and we're going to create a new folder you could label this you know okay 12 week year and we're going to add goals here and we can actually measure the goals in, in in different ways so let's just add a new goal let's just say your goal is one of my goals was to lose eight pounds so i'm going to put lose eight pounds You'll add who the owner is. So you could put yourself or whoever in your team is the owner. If this is something in your team, you could add it's private. Let's just put it's private. Is there a date? So 
for me, it was the 26th. Again, that's not going to make sense now because it's already past March 26th, but we're just going to add that. And then you can add a description here about this goal, why it's important to you. But we're going to just like skip that. And then once you've created that goal, you'll see it here and it's going to ask you to create a target. How are you going to measure that you lost eight pounds? And it's actually going to give you a percentage each time that you've hit the target. So you could create a target and the target is going to be weight loss, let's just say. And then again, put yourself as the owner and then you can put the type of target. So is it something that is just going to be like a bunch of tasks that are associated to it? Or is it just going to be money? Like if it's a revenue goal or is it like done or not done, right? False, true or false. For me, I did the number. So for me, the target was eight, right? Cause I'm going to lose eight pounds. So every time I lost weight, I could add here, I could click here and then add like two pounds. And if I save the update, it's going to update that percentage. So again, you could do this for various goals. Let's go ahead and do one that is just like a, a true or false. So the goal is read 10. Now let's say read the 12 week year book. Very specific. We're the owner. Okay. I'm gonna put it private and date again will be the 20 March 26. We're gonna add a description and then we're gonna create a target. It's just gonna be, you know, read the book. Okay. And you can put yourself as the owner and then it's just gonna be true or false. So now if you would have put here, re read 10 books, you could have put, you could have made a list of like, read this specific book, this specific book, because maybe you had 10 specific books you wanted to read. And again, this is just a true or false. Once, if it, if it happened, if it finished, we would just put finished, it would save the update and it would go to like a hundred percent that you read the book. So again, we have these two goals. We're just going to use these to reference them in our dashboard. So let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard we created right here. And you can actually rename the dashboard anything you want. So I'm just going to rename this dashboard, dashboard, 12 week year tutorial so that I know what this is. So now we're going to add that little, the goals section. So all you're gonna do is just put goals, add them, and then it'll ask you select a specific goal. So I'm gonna select the folder that I just did. And you could put include completed or don't complete, include completed. You can have specific owners. I'm just going to put myself and then you could sort it by due date, start date, progress. Let's just sort it by progress. And then it should add it in a second. So it added it, but it didn't add it in the space we wanted. So we're going to make sure we click on edit mode and then move this around. Again, we might have to move things around a little bit so that they can make sense. And then again, depending on the amount of goals, you can make this smaller, you can make this bigger, but they're there. They're there for you to see. Again, you can make this a lot smaller for whatever amount of goals you want to have. So I'm just going to make it like a little bit smaller, just like that. So you can just see them and you can, if you click on it, it'll open up the screen. Now I had a little reference box. So all I did is I added a cart, add a text box, and I just added reference. And I added some emojis. This is where, and you'll have reference. So what I did is I actually added specific documents. So I mentioned pages. So I'm going to actually mention the 12 week year page. This basically shows my 12 week year goals. And this comes with your template. So you'll be able to have this and just create, have your own pictures, create your own thing. And again, this is just for me to reference it. And that's kind of what I did. And then now we're going to add our weekly check-ins. So what we're going to do is add a cart, 
We're going to add a task list, the specific location. So if you had your task list, if you did your weekly, your 12 week year goals, I'll have it here, the 12 week year plan. So I'm going to do that, add, locate the list and it should populate it. Now you can always, again, these are all done for me because I already accomplished them, but yours are going to come out here. And then one of the things, sometimes it doesn't add the notes area. So you could add the notes. That's what I did. I added the little notes area for my column. And then I'll, I remove things like priority. I'd want to hide that. I know that this is assigned to my to myself. So I just added the due date and the notes. And if you click full screen, you can see all of the, every week you can open up every week. Again, these are already um, completed because I've already done the 12 week year and then notes, you can add little notes and open them up and see like what went well, what didn't go well, things like that. And so you have this list this little dashboard to reference. Now you could take a step further and play around with it. You could make this smaller and you can add a another card here, maybe like a YouTube video. You could embed a YouTube video, maybe like a motivating video or like any other video you want. I'll just do aesthetic. Music. I don't know how to spell aesthetic, obviously. So we'll do aesthetic music. Let's just do this, this lo-fi. Just copy the link. We're going to embed the URL. And we're going to add the cart. So it's probably going to do it all the way at the bottom. So what you're going to do is you can make it up here. And again, you're going to have to play around with the size so that it fits. There you go. Make it bigger. And again, you could put, you know, like calming music or calming vibes, whatever you want to make it aesthetic. And there you go. That's how you create your dashboard. It doesn't have to be hard, super easy. Again, do the blocks that make sense for you. You can always extend these to be more you can make them a lot shorter you can add more things i love this you can actually filter do a bunch of stuff you can refresh your card and just make sure that once you're done unclick edit mode so things don't move around and then yeah that's about it that's how you create your 12 week year dashboard i hope you love this video and if you want to look at how my journey went make sure that you check out the 12 week year playlist have a wonderful day.